they both represent a young woman. But one is a portrait. For instance, the Parma painter Parmigianino uh, painted a portrait of uh, Antea. Antea was, well, it said so, uh, the artist lover. And actually, she is beautiful. She is wearing all the gifts a lover gave to her. And she's an ideal representation of beauty. The same artist, Parmigianino, also painted the Lucrezia that is in the show. And the painting represents um, a young woman committing suicide. And actually, it's not about the portrait of a woman in this case. It is an historical figure and a political figure because what happened to this poor Lucrezia is that she got raped by the last king of Rome. And ashamed of that, she committed suicide. But it's not only about this very sad story for this very uh, poor woman. It's, it's quite about a political moment uh, in the life of uh, ancient uh, Rome. And this revolution brought back the Republic that shows how a virtuous woman uh, can be something quite important, can be a model even for men, and it just set up the, the theme of the strong women in history and therefore art history. So those are two different paintings that for us could represent the same things, but actually they're not.